Okay, folks, so this morning I wanted to share this uh, pictures of entering into downtown Chicago after 17 days. Um, this is where we ended up. It was about 2.30 in the morning, and we got out of Chicago about 4.30 in the morning. So enjoy the pictures, enjoy the videos that I took, and enjoy this weekend edition. We made it to the... Amtrak Railroad Bridge in uh, downtown Chicago and we can, nobody gets I mean that's 10 feet so we can't get underneath that so we called them and they said they'll send somebody out here and lift the bridge so let's see what happens it's about uh, two o'clock in the morning in the bridge for us. God, that's a massive lift. All right, we can get under. Well, that's downtown Chicago right there. Two miles from where we started this morning, Chief. Should have been able to do that in a half a day. Here it is, uh, 2.20 in the morning. You guys are seeing exactly what we're seeing. 2.30 in the morning. So we're just getting close to lock here. We're right downtown. Just go through all these bridges. Chief, you recognize anything? The clue. <laughs> Chief. A little punchy. Surprised how many boats we've seen like, I don't know, four or five boats running down the canal here. Making the corner out of here. We're heading over to the lock. It's a beautiful evening here. There's no wind. And... Wow. How many of these uh, downtowns do you get to drive through like this? Huh, Chief? So we came all the way from Panama City, Florida, and here we are in downtown Chicago, driving through the downtown district in a, in a boat that we brought all the way from Panama City, Florida. It's crazy. Why does this thing look low, Chief? Franklin Street Bridge.
See if you can rent some duffies right here. I'm not sure what I'm looking at here, but these towers right here, that's all car parking. Those are living spaces. And then they have the marinas right down here for them to park their boat. Anybody want to take a gas or a stab or anything like that of what something like this might send somebody back? It doesn't look cheap, Chief. Chief, this is pretty cool. And you got to see it at night. You know what I'm saying? And there's, it's, it's probably two different experiences, but at nighttime here. Yeah. 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 Look at that beautiful boat right there. I couldn't imagine keeping up something like that. Yeah, this is northbound high seas and we are requesting a lock through for today. On the lake side? No. No, we're on the uh, Chicago side. Well, we're just about done with downtown Chicago. Just amazing seeing it. It was at nighttime here. I mean, oh, I don't know. I, it was uh, definitely a treat for sure. Chief, downtown Chicago, last lock. 1400 miles 89 or we yeah we got about 80 miles more to go what do you think chief i think it's been a long road baby but this is really definitely a something you should be on your bucket list to do this downtown maybe not at two o'clock in the morning but at nighttime. <laughs> so we just went up to the last bridge heading over to the lock here I think they just said they were swinging the gates for us, so. Well, this is the final goodbye for Chicago right here. We head into the lock. So he's opening the doors on the lock for us. And we head out into Lake Michigan. It's gonna be black as black can be, but it'll only be a couple hours. It really is three o'clock in the morning, so we we got two hours of it, Chief. It'll be, you'll start to see the sun come up. So. Okay, make sure you hit that like and subscribe. Share it with your friends. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed this weekend. I, I couldn't wait to share it with you guys. So here you go. All right, guys, you can see the uh, Chicago skyline right there uh, we are heading to Milwaukee right now I'll show you the map right here uh, so it's uh, about 59 miles it shows us in about 10 30 tomorrow morning so that's all good I got the radar we got the radar arch back up and the radar going because that's what we wanted make sure that the radar was working because it's going to be pretty dark out there